Look, it's a great day for life. It's a great day for the restoration of constitutional jurisprudence. Um, it, it's just a great day. I mean, and you have no damn right to tell them what they should do with their bodies. Nobody does. Honestly, I, it, this is a dream come true for, for me, for, for South Texas. In South Texas, we're pro-life, somos pro vida. So this was a big win for us in South Texas, but also for, for our country. Look, I am spitting mad over this. This was a great week for the Constitution. Uh, it's Listen, it's a heartbreaking betrayal of, of half of the country. So I'm getting, you know, watching the women there. It's emotional. Well, two different views of today, and sadly, there is a cable channel for each one. You can watch CNN all day and hear how today is a dark day in American history, or go to Fox News to hear that the Supreme Court finally delivered justice for the unborn. As a loyal viewer, you know this show is not a safe space for anyone or any political ideology. Evidently, USA Today counts itself among the former in news organizations. Dave Mastio wrote in today's New York Post, quote, USA Today demoted me for a tweet because its woke newsrooms are out of touch with readers. His column goes on. I was USA Today's deputy editorial page editor until August when I was demoted after I tweeted, quote, people who are pregnant are also women. There's a real danger in having an American media where no viewer or reader must confront an inconvenient truth about the other side. Dave Mastio is with us right now. Uh, we appreciate you being here, sir. Are, they, are newsrooms like this because it makes more money or because you've got editors and publishers who are scared of their staff? I, I think the answer is, is both. One came before the other. First, they brought in a lot of cheap, young workers. Uh, to, to put out the news when they laid off their experienced workers. And once uh, a significant number of young woke staffers came in the door, uh, the editors and the publishers were running scared. Boy, I, I, I'm interested where about your tweet. The, the tweet you said was that women, uh, people who are pregnant are also women, which I'm unclear as to how uh, that is controversial. Your tweet that you said once you left, I'm guessing, is at last I'm able to say what I couldn't before. People don't get pregnant, but women do. What's interesting to me is that you were on the editorial side. You're, you were paid and hired to have opinions uh, that, that certainly are, are perhaps upsetting to some people, but that's, that's hardly a, a wildly controversial opinion when you consider the, the overall political landscape of America. I was paid and hired to be a concert, not just an opinionated journalist, but a conservative when USA Today and all the Gannett newspapers thought that was something important to have because many of their readers were conservative. Um, huh. It blows my mind. No, that it, it is. We've it come is. to a time where, where, where you can't be that anymore. It, it is mind blowing. Um, this was MSNBC talking about. Uh, Justice Thomas, take a listen. Who is Clarence Thomas? Is he my Saudi Arabian father who's going to tell me what I can and cannot do with my body, with my life? Uh, that's what this is coming down to. I, I guarantee you they did not have the opposing viewpoint uh, to that. Certainly is far over uh, on the scale. So I would, I would ask you, what's the danger in having people only having to hear, see, and read that which they agree with on this issue? Well, we become more and more polarized. We think of each other in caricatures and, you know, only, only see the, the, the worst side of each other. And at, as a result, you know, one of, one of the reasons that, that people don't want to be friends anymore with somebody who's on the other side is because of these media echo, echo chambers where, you only see hate and anger towards one side of the political spectrum, and you don't you don't treat them like real people. I know you're trying something new with Straight Arrow News um, that sort of defies what the, the latest Pew polling on journalism shows, which is, does every side deserve equal coverage? 55% of journalists, not opinion journalists, say no. Only 44% say yes, every side deserves equal coverage. What does equal coverage on the abortion issue look like that we are not seeing today? I think on on a, on abortion we get we get the extremes the ban at six weeks, 
or any abortion at any time for any reason. I think there's a vast middle for Americans, you know, of of, you know, no third trimester abortions, free access to abortions in the first trimester, you know, things like parental consent and and spousal spousal notification and a waiting period, things that really try to balance all of the uh, the equities that are that are involved here. And I don't think we're getting that from from either side. I nope. I think the, yeah, there's, the bulk a, there's of no Americans question. are in the middle. Yeah, there's no question about that. Hey, uh, we appreciate you having uh, being with us, David, and, and congratulations on the new venture. Uh, you're brave for, for speaking out on these things, and we appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.